Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Here's a block I worked on last time I was with you here in YouTube land and this is from the Friendly Sampler. It's called the Nonsense Quilt Block and I really liked the block and I thought I'd like to make a table topper. So I have four background fabrics. I'll be making four blocks and these quilt blocks will be smaller than the one I used in my Friendly Sampler. So first I pulled some fabrics, uh, like I said, the four backgrounds, and then I chose some pinks and browns, and then a little bit of gold and blue. These colors have been very appealing to me lately, and I have a quilt I'm working on with a, a similar color range, and these are the fabrics I chose for today's project. For each of my blocks, I'll be making four. I need a center square that's two and a half inches. And then I will need from the brown, I'll need two three inch squares and two three and a half inch squares. And the same for the background, two three inch and two three and a half inch to make a smaller block than I did with my friendly sampler. I'll be making four quilt blocks for my small quilt and you can see in the background there the quilt I'm working on from a recent video. I'll leave that link below for that quilt as well and you can see the colors are very similar to what I'm working on right now. Those fabrics are handy and I just really like this mix of color. So now that I have my four little stacks of fabric for my four quilt blocks, I'll begin by making the half square triangles for this first quilt block using the three inch squares. I'll put the right sides together. I'll draw a pencil line from corner to corner, and then I'm going to sew on both sides of the pencil line. And after I had made a couple, I went ahead and put my seams in without drawing the pencil line. These squares are um, smaller and I was able to eyeball that pencil line, you know, kind of imagine the pencil line as I put in my seams. I also put my three and a half inch squares together. These squares will eventually be a block called the hourglass block and I'll have to um, sew the two seams and then I'm going to cut and put them together into an hourglass block. So I've got all four of my square sets, my three inch and my three and a half inch. I'll put my seams in, I'll press and then I will make the hourglass block with those three and a half inch squares. After pressing everything, I'll use those larger squares and I'm going to put right sides together with opposite fabrics facing each other and I'll be drawing another pencil line through the center. I'll sew on both sides of my pencil line and then I'll have my hourglass blocks ready. And then before I put all my pieces together, I'll need to trim everything to two and a half inches.
I'll lay out all of my pieces for my nonsense quilt block and then I'll sew everything together in rows and then I will put the rows together. I just love the way this quilt block uses these half square triangles and hourglass blocks to make a rectangle in each of those corners. project today I made a total of four of these nonsense quilt blocks using a variety of fabrics and when I have all my blocks together I'm going to show you how I added some sashing and cornerstones to make a beautiful table mat. Four blocks are complete now. I have this really cute fabric here I'll be uh, sneaking in as one of the cornerstones. I need to cut it, but my cornerstones are two and a half inches and my strips for the sashing are two and a half inches by six and a half inches. And I have that sort of cream color fabric there ready to go, but after I started putting things together, I changed my mind and I added a striped fabric and you'll see that in just a minute. Here you can see the sashing fabric I started with. It's sort of a cream color but I decided I, it was too bright, so I found this striped fabric that I think blends in a little bit better with my quilt blocks, and that's what I used. My strips here are two and a half inches by six and a half inches.
my quilt top measures about 19 inches and so I got a backing fabric, this vintagey looking cotton fabric with a pretty print. I'm using a 505 spray and I will uh, get my quilt sandwich together. Just a little tiny bit of this spray to keep everything steady while I quilt. Now I'm ready to quilt my little table mat and I'm going to aim for both sides of the seam, just a quarter inch away from the seam on all of those rectangles. A small project so I as you can see I did not mark anything I'm just eyeballing those seams and it it worked out okay I made a couple mistakes but um, it's such a small project I don't think anybody's going to notice that these lines were not perfectly straight quilting was all done. I took my little quilt here and I trimmed away the excess using the quilt top as my guide. The work I chose for uh, binding and I'll be cutting my strips one and three quarter inch. Uh, it will not be a double fold binding. It's just a small little quilt and I kind of prefer um, just having one layer on these little table mats so they're not quite as bulky on the edge when it's you know sitting on a table. This is my quick and easy way to add binding. I just fold that edge that I'm starting with and that's where I'm beginning and I will sew all the way down that first side and I'll stop before I get to the end. I'll stop about a quarter inch away. I'll leave my needle down and then I will pivot my quilt and sew off the corner. So I have a little uh, sort of a diagonal stitch line there. Then I'll fold the strip up and down and I'll begin sewing right on that fold and I'll do that all the way around. When I got to the end, I trimmed that long strip so that it covers that fold with maybe, I don't know, uh, another inch or so 
and then I sewed again starting at the top and then I'll sew all the way down to the end of that strip and when I turn this over to the front all the raw edges will be inside. tucked in the uh, raw edge on this binding and I folded it down and now I'm going to top stitch all the way around. I love my new little table topper, my tiny quilt here with those beautiful colors. Not sure if I'll use it out on my patio or inside under the sweet peas, but I do love this new little quilt. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.